Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. For those of you who are new to the channel, um, welcome. And for those of you who are not, welcome back. So, what we're going to do here, I am doing my first ever playthrough, like personally playthrough on Stardew Valley Expanded with some mods. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and start by um, going through some of the mods that I'm actually going to use. So I'll walk you through what we've actually included there. And then uh, we'll jump into day one. And I'm going to go ahead and call it out now that I don't know a whole lot about Stardew Valley Expanded. I know that the map is bigger. I spent about 10 minutes running around the map itself to try and just kind of get my bearings but it's huge so i'm going to be lost there are going to be characters that i don't even know uh who they are where they live that sort of thing i've played the main you know vanilla version for years now so i'm super comfortable on that front but um it's gonna be rough so I haven't even really thought about my name and a farm name. Let's go with something weird, like Magnus. Yeah, Magnus Perfectum. Magnus Perfectum, and it's known as the Perfectum Farm. <laughs> and my favorite thing is, so it reminds me of, I think it's like the taste reminds you of uh, victory. It reminds me of victory. So, uh, we will skip the intro. Actually, let's let's watch it because uh, I will go through. Hang on, here. Let's do this. Give me a second. Um, do 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 take a picture of this real quick and now we're going to jump back in here uh, so we'll go through the intro now you notice here we're, we're choosing grandpa's farm all the other farms are the same in terms of the names etc but the standard farm is gone because i've also used the grandpa's farm mod it is a modestly sized farmland with tillable grass different landmark locations shortcuts to surrounding areas and secrets to discover so uh we're gonna do that one now let's jump in here so while we're going through there i'm going to go over the mods that we are using and i assume that this is all the same as usual so just deal with it uh so we are using seasonal outfits so the the npcs will have different outfits throughout the year i have the automate mod on not sure that I will use it a ton, but I will at least demonstrate it at some point. I do have the CJB cheats menu mod in, you know, on here as well as the item spawner. I won't use those very much though. I will I don't know of any scenarios where I will use the cheats. I might use the autumn item spawner once or twice uh, for certain things and I'll explain why later. Uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Gift taste helper. Oh, I guess I could click along here. So give me the envelope, please. Uh, so the gift taste helper is basically, um, if you look at the menu of the people around town, you can hover over them and it will show you gifts that they love. I'm going to do that simply because, like, if I really wanted to, I could just stop and look at the, the wiki. Sorry, I was moving my plate, my whatever um i stand on a mat and it was getting kind of wonky so i was just shifting it with my feet anyway uh gift taste helper simple crop label which is basically once i plant crops i can actually just hover the mouse over it and it'll show me what it is and i think how long until it's ready which is awesome winter grass i think is one that was necessary for one of the other mods that we're using but it's basically that grass can grow in winter there's the Joja Mart or Joja Corp. Join us, thrive. Uh, the Stardew Valley dialogue expansion, which is it adds like 
a couple thousand additional lines of dialogue that are not in the vanilla version which is cool so we don't get the same conversation with people over and over and over automatic gates which is awesome i actually am now using that on my uh vanilla run just because i hate dealing with the gates and it's just a quality of life thing it's i don't really think that it's a cheat so much um let's see what else grandpa's farm npc map locations so when I go to the menu, I will be able to look at the map and see where people are, which is huge. It's a value add. And again, it's one of those things that I could look at the wiki usually and find out where people are. The reason I decided to give myself access to this one is that I'm pretty sure that with the, S the Stardew Valley Expanded, the schedules of some of the NPCs uh, change. So, for that reason, I'm giving myself access to that one. What's going on here? I can't move my mouse. Anyway, uh, I also chose the skip fishing minigame, so we will no longer have to spend the time to actually reel in the fish. I know that that's sort of cheating, but it's going to save me personally a bunch of time where... 90% of the fish I'm going to catch like every time. So the ones like the lava eel, maybe a scorpion carp, uh, catfish early on in the playthrough, those it's going to be a little bit cheesy that I'm going to catch them every single time and it will be a perfect catch. And if there was a treasure chest, I'll catch it as well. So that one's kind of cheesy, but we're going to we're going to go with it. Hello! Uh, wait, what's Robin's voice? I don't remember. Hello, you must be Magnus. I am Magnus. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Okay. Um, and then UI Info Suite is the last one that we've got turned on. And it is basically... Um, the farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. The UI info suite is if i cut down a tree for example it's going to show me how much xp i got for doing that particular activity smash rock uh same thing so you're going to see my stuff like that and i believe it will show me if i level up so that i don't have to pause the menu and go to look and see if that happened so she's like okay here we are and i'm freaking out because there's stuff everywhere and if you know if you've seen this intro then you know this but this is um you know grandpa's old farm it's a mess it's gonna take me forever to clean this up and she's like you'll have it cleaned up in no time i'm like forget you lady but um you know objectives for this playthrough are pretty much just um uh, well, well we'll get there I don't really know, honestly. Um, I probably should have uh, changed the community center bundles to mix them up or whatever, but it's fine. We will... Ah, the new farmer. Wait, that's not my voice for Mayor Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. <laughs> so, I give voices to everyone. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone here has been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. <laughs> so, there's the old cottage. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. And Robin's like... <laughs> rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Yeah, maybe. Don't listen to her, Magnus. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. So before we get too far into the playthrough, I should also point out, for those of you who are new to the channel, that um, if you comment, I will add you to the list to eventually have an animal or child or, you know, it could be my dog or even my horse named after you. So... That's a positive. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. 
The townspeople would appreciate that. Cool. I don't like that shipping bin way over there. We're going to move it over here. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night and collect it. Well, good luck. So, Lewis is sneaking around town at night, apparently. So, more to come on that storyline. But, uh, so I was saying, you'll get an animal named after you if you're lucky. So, I know that most of you have been, you know, since you were a youngster, dreaming of having a virtual chicken named after you. And now's your chance. Just drop something in the comments. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So we got to go into this list here and change. So I was messing around with this, just kind of trying to see what some of this stuff did. Now I got to undo it because it defaults to move speed, I guess, just normal, right? But is normal and one the same? No, so normal. Move speed, normal. Inventory, normal. One hit break, change. I like this one, harvest with scythe. But I don't think we'll use it. You can add money instantly. You can add casino coins. You can add walnuts, gems. On the farming and fishing, fishing front, you can do some stuff here. Um, let's see, what else? Instant key. Yeah, so we already have that. Uh, I don't need tackle because the one that I would usually use is trap bobber. Won't need that because I'll catch everything on the first try. Fast machine processing we're not going to use, but you can speed up the process of every single item uh, that produces something on its own. So skill level, we could already go ahead and just up these if we wanted to. No need to do that. Weather is sunny. We can change the forecast for tomorrow by just clicking on lightning for example we could so these two oh man i'm tempted to use at least this one to where i can give a gift to somebody every single day if i wanted to or even 10 in one day but i don't think that we're going to do that and then this one also is nice for, for characters like, for example, um, Marlin. So I didn't even know that you could establish a relationship with Marlin, but apparently we can. And there are other characters in here that I have no idea who they are. We'll get to know them eventually. But somebody like, for example, the wizard, who you just don't run across very often, your friendship will go up because you give him a birthday gift, and then it'll slowly creep back down if you don't make friends with him um, and it just takes a while to befriend people for that reason although I don't know if it decays with people that you can't marry but like whatever not a big deal we're not going to use it um, warp look so I could just zoop, warp straight to the main farmland or whatever I could warp to Robins that's weird I can warp to different places did not know that um, I can warp to the hat mouse. God, there's so much you can do with this. So you can warp. I can stop time anytime I'm inside. I can stop time in the caves. I can stop time everywhere. I can set the time if I wanted to. So I could be like, boom, make it 1 a.m. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave it at 6 a.m. Uh, date. Some things won't update until the night has passed. So you can update the day season and even year don't know really why you would want to update the year unless if i go ahead right now and make it year two pierre would start selling crops that are usually only available in year two so that would be the value there use this section at your own risk can cause issues like skipped mail events or quests yeah see we're not going to do that but you can give yourself the wallet items you can unlock areas. You can even, like for example, right here, I have this quest of 
introducing myself to everyone. I could click on that and that quest would go away. We're not gonna do that. And then controls, I don't think I need to do any of that stuff, right? Sure, why not? But what we do need to do is come in here, go like that, that, and then we're gonna zoom everything out as far as we can. I think that's it. Now, see, if I look at the map, boom, shows me where everyone is. Now, some of this is a little glitchy, though, because, like, look here, there's two Lewises. There's a Lewis, and there's a Lewis. There's a Robin, and it looks like a second Robin. I don't know who that is. Susan, don't know you. Andy, I don't know you. I don't A ruined house way down here. That's way south of, like, here's the Wizard's Tower. See, there's a lot of places I'm going to have to explore. This says Willie's here, but he's not there. He's fishing. Gunther, Morris, anybody else? Oh, I don't know you, Sophia. I don't know this person. Victor and Olivia don't know them. The Jenkins residence. So they have a last name. There's Linus, Marlin. And the dwarf. Wait, the dwarf? He's in the mine. What in blazes? So, anyway, lots of people that we need to go around and try and introduce ourselves to, because that's what the mayor said to do. Now, in previous playthroughs, where is Haley? Oh, there she is. So we have married Haley, Maru, who's hanging out up here, and Leah. Um... Given that it is day one of the playthrough, I will go ahead and say, throw out recommendations for who we should marry. And we'll, uh, we'll take those into consideration. Here's my farmland. Now, as you can see, it looks like here's my house. Okay, what is this little thing? I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, that kind of looks like another little house right there. Uh, but anyway, we got the house, we got a big field, and then we have two little fenced off areas that are fenced that I can't move. Um, but there's a natural, there's like a gate there. There's not an actual gate, but there's a opening. There's an opening there, and there's a little opening here. Now up here is the little cave, Grandpa's shed. So apparently... Grandpa left me, or has, an old shed laying around that we'll have to try and locate. Marnie's Farm, Fairhaven Farm, Blue Moon. Ooh, I like Blue Moon. Speaking of which, I'm getting thirsty, so it might be beer 30 here in a minute. What is this? Memorial behind the Joja Mart? We're going to have to check that out. Uh, this is, I guess, the Rock Quarry. Shearwater Bridge, Old Community Garden, New Community Garden, apparently. So there's just a ton of stuff that I have never seen before because I have not played on this map. <sighs> so I don't know. That's the bathhouse, and this is the train station. And I guess Susan lives at the train station from the looks of things. So that's cool. But let's uh, Let's get after it here. So, Mayor Lewis left us some parsnip seeds. Thanks, buddy. In weather, it's sunny. And today is a good luck day, so that's cool. Living off the land. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forest to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. All right. So, our first objective, once we get organized here is to we need a chest because we're gonna have to put stuff in we only have these 12 spaces open and i'm gonna be a miserable sap until that changes so we have two objectives here this one just popped up because we picked up those parsnips they want me to cultivate and harvest a parsnip so that's going to take a few days this one so remember, Lewis said to go greet people. We've already met Lewis and Robin. We need to meet 29 other people. So we got a lot of uh, 
greeting to go do meet and greet so we're going to clear some space here but first i want to try and cut down three trees i want to make sure we get them to fall away from that water oh my gosh see there i got 12 xp and we got 17 wood every tree drops 17 wood and then you saw i got 12 xp for cutting down the tree did i get any for the stump one for the stump so that's not very uh efficient in terms of energy usage but three trees will get me enough to make a chest which is the first critical thing that we need to do because if you see our inventory it's already mostly full and after i craft that chest even more space taken up so we're going to pop it right there everything's going to go in there except for the stuff that i know i'm going to need to clear out some more farmland now I know I kind of started alluding to like some objectives for this playthrough. I'm not going to be super caught up with those. You know, we want to be efficient and we want to, you know, every day we're going to have an objective. But I'm going to basically just kind of play this game however the heck I feel like it. I know that there are ways to like min max and be super efficient, make tons of money and knock out the community center in one year. Um, we're not going to worry about that. Like, if I was thinking about this, me personally, I've got a huge field of debris and stuff that I want to get rid of. So that's kind of what I'm going to focus on. Whoops. Well, that's not a big deal. Because I'll end up using that space anyway. But the first thing we're going to do, let's clear a little space here. Oh my goodness, I need a magnet ring, I need a glow ring, I need so much stuff, guys. Um, but anyway, what we're going to try and do is, oh, come on, energy is a huge resource for you early on in the playthrough, so you need to be pretty efficient with it, and it's hard to do that, honestly, uh, but whatever. All right, so... There's my 15 parsnips, but I also have that mixed seed thing. So we're going to grab that and plant it as well. So go like this. That's where my mixed seed will go. And it's also a parsnip. So we're going to have 15 parsnips in the ground. We'll go ahead and get them watered. Then... I'm thinking uh, start trying to find our way around town. I don't like this water being way up here. It's kind of out of the way. But let's, uh, let's first decide what we're going to bring with us. I won't need a watering can wherever I'm going. I might need all of these items. It's unlikely, though. And since inventory is pretty scarce, I'm going to leave behind the axe and pickaxe. The hoe is in case we come across any artifact spots, and the scythe is because I'll probably need it to navigate um, like onto and out of the farm. And like there, I'm already blocked right there. I can't even get through there. So I'm kind of wanting to see what all is over here. Okay, that's not very helpful because there's a dead end. There's a river. Can I get through the gate over here? Negative. Well, we'll deal with that later. For right now, what I want to do, let's go out the south ex exit of the farm, which should be straight down here somewhere. Looking like, okay, so there's Marnie's house to the right. 
and there is Marnie. Her, she's hanging out outside on a Monday. So I'm assuming that she's still not open on Monday and Tuesday. So she's like, hey, you must be the new guy. Sure. Oh, I can still talk to you? My crops are healthy this season. I don't expect to make a good profit. Whoa. Oh, okay. She's just saying that over and over. So there's her little field of crops. I can't get into it, though. Now, let's go see if Jazz is hanging out in here. And Shane, I suppose. There's Jazz coming out of her bedroom. Good timing. Hi. So she doesn't like to talk to strangers. She's pretty shy. There's Leah, the wife of my Joja playthrough that I'm simultaneously doing. Uh, which brings me to the uh, another point. We picked a good time to move here. This spring is lovely. Um, I am... Ooh, this is different. This bridge. So there were a couple of people that lived down this direction. There was... Okay, there's Fairhaven Farm. Who's this guy? Hey. Andy. Would you look at that? No, what voice are we going to give him? Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I don't know why I'm giving him the, the accent. I've been working Fairhaven Farm for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. So we're going to give him the farmer voice. You're lucky you got that f property, that free property from your grandpa. I sure am. See you around, buddy. All right, let's get a look here. So Pelican Town to the north. Blue Moon Vineyard. We want to go check that out. But first, let's come. Ooh, look at all the spring onions. So all the XP that I'm getting for these forgeables is hopefully going to get me leveled up on my foraging skill i should be close because i cut down those trees earlier doesn't it bling or you know uh man i could have sworn i would get there with that much but maybe maybe we still need to forage a little bit more no worry we're going to be running all over town so okay hey who are you Eek, a stranger hey i are you dateable? I'm kind of digging the pink hair. Well, wait, aren't you Magnus, the new farmer? Sorry, I get a little nervous around people I haven't met before. So she owns a vineyard. <sighs> My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Uh, well, I, I'll see you around, I guess. Cool. Check you later. So that's... Oh, wait, what's down here? Oh, the beach. I can get to the beach from here. That's pretty interesting. I will grab you. See, we're running low on inventory space again. Is there anybody hanging out down here that normally isn't? Although, I guess, see, I could look at the map locator thing and find some of these people, but... All right, we'll catch Elliot because he's hanging out outside of his house. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get to him. Oh, look at this. See? It tells me the luck today. Like, I'm feeling lucky. So it puts that up there so that I don't need to remember what the luck situation was for the day. So we'll check the trash. Especially on good luck days. There's Andy again. So we don't want to check the trash when he's right there. So let's come over here. Uh, Emily, hello. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. So she, she works at the saloon. <clears throat> um, her sister, Haley, we have married numerous times. Usually on my playthroughs, that's who I marry. Okay, so that was um, Jody that was just leaving, and she left her small child, Vincent, here all by himself at the house. That's how small of a town we're living in here. So, say hi to Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. And here's Evelyn. Hello, dear. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Uh, I would rather not do that. Let's go say hi. Oh, it's a hangout day in the town square. There's Caroline. Uh, her husband, Pierre, runs the general store. This is Olivia. Ooh, she's got fancy earrings. I bet she's loaded. Wait, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. Are you hitting on me? 
It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Have you met my son, Victor? I haven't. So now Vincent's going out to play. Here's Harvey, the town doctor. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Oh, I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Cool. Uh, let's go check the bus stop for forgeables real quick. And then what we'll do is parlay that into... Why is there a... Okay, so I can go straight down. I don't... Okay, so we just leveled up our forging. So that's cool that you can see that in the middle of the day. So how you like them apples? So if we go down, where does this bring us? Oh, we're here on the farm. That's interesting. Because I would have thought that left would have brought us here. So I'm wondering if there's another exit on the farm that goes north out of here. This is why I needed to do some more exploration before we started this playthrough. Um, you come with me, because what we're going to do real quick is go ahead and plant this guy. Another parsnip. You can go back in there. So... <clears throat> Back into town, and we'll work our way, I guess, over to the side where, like, Clint... I wonder if Maru is here at the doctor's office since Harvey's not here. Okay, it's locked. Nothing on the help wanted board. So there's a backpack for sale there. Hi, it's Mr. Magnus. Magnus Perfectum! Don't forget the name, or I'll stick my boot in your rhymes with perfectum. All right, so I can buy some more crops here, and we're going to do so, but we need to be kind of strategic because I don't have a ton of energy for one thing, and basically the objective is to just try and get some variety going on the field. So let's get a bean starter, a cauliflower seed, tater seed, tulip. Kale, jazz, and that should be it, right? Okay, yeah. Now I've got 190 bucks. Let's get two more cauliflowers. 30 bucks. Is anything 30 bucks? A jazz seed. We want to have no money at the end of the day. I already talked to Leah. <clears throat> Having no money is not as important to me in this playthrough as it normally would. There's Maru hanging out on the bench. Oh, aren't you just one who moved in? I'm Maru. Been looking forward to meet you. All right, so let's come in here and say hello to Gus, the local bartender. We give him a, we try to give him an Italian accent. It ends up being what I will refer to as Mediterranean. Like, I don't know if it's Oh, come on, let me buy. It's, is it Italian? That's Penny. That's all she has to say. Hey, is that Dusty or whatever his name is? Oh, hey, so you're the cool guy, the new guy? <laughs> cool. See you around, Rosef. Alex is the jock of the town. Yeah, it's irritating to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Yeah. George is a Grumposaurus, and you'll learn more about why later in the playthrough. Let's see if Pam is home since we're here. She's not, but I know where to find her later. Pam likes adult beverages. Oh, look at this. This is new because I can fit a horse through here. You can't do that on the regular map. So they opened it up so you could fit a horse around there. So there's the community garden. Can I grab this stuff or no? This is the Pelican Town Community Garden. It sure is. So there's an old garden over that way. We'll go check that out in a minute, maybe. Read this book. No, oh, this this book. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow. They You don't have to water them, so that's cool. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow into the next season. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. Hey, buddy. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, I thought I usually gave him a Louisiana accent. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. 
We don't have any artifacts full display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Sure. So Gunther is the curator. He just moved to town and took over the museum, and there's nothing there for him to, like, you know, start with. Oh, look at Clint over here. He usually hangs out there. This is neat. He's actually working for once. Hey, I'm Clint. I'm John Blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. So he's kind of an awkward dude. Um, he is definitely what I would refer to as socially awkward. Now, there's stuff over there that we'll get to shortly, but first, is that, yeah, that's that Olivia. How do I, I want to get to the Joja Mart here. I believe, oh, who's, is that Victor? Her son? It is. Oh, hey there, you're the new owner of Perfectum Farm. I'm Victor, it's a pleasure to meet you. Magnus, is it? It sure is. So this must be their house. And that thing is a freaking mansion. Look at this place. Holy crap. Yeah, they've got their own freaking library, guys. Plasma. He's got a Genesis and a, a Super Nintendo. Yeah, these guys are balling. The Jenkins residence. So let's go check out the Joja Mart. Sam works here, so we might see him. Shane Alt, who is, or do you have a name now? This is Claire. Hi, I haven't seen you before. Sorry, I don't really know you all that well. So, are they, they're already gone for the day. But let's come over and say hi to old Morris here, hanging out in his office. Hey man. Ah, it's the new farmer, Magnus. Welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of the Jojamot. I don't know, I usually give him a, a more douchey voice than that. If you need cheap, quality seeds, there's no better place than a Joja Mart. Cool. Cheap, quality seeds. Those cheap and quality generally don't mix. <laughs> All right, it's 6.30, so we kind of need to think about getting moving here. There's a memorial up here, but a memorial to what? Pelican Town. Date. April 17th. 19 whatever built in recognition of stardew valley's excellence so why are there no dates there and why was it built in the 1900s whatever it should have been established 2016 or whenever this game launched but not a huge deal all right we're gonna go ahead and we need to go to the saloon there should be more people there um, that we can hopefully say hi to. Then we're going to have to swing uh, north. Yeah, there's Shane. Pam, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Hi, dude. It's kind of rude. We just met, and that's how you're going to behave. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Hey, kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Uh, okay. Did I say hi to Gus earlier? Yeah. Yeah, we talked about his Mediterranean accent. Okay, so let's head north. Um, hopefully, oh, that's Pierre. What is he staring at the thing for? We didn't get to see Haley, who normally hangs out by the fountain. We didn't get there in time. Oh, that's new. The kegs and stuff up there in that little space. So at least we won't have to decorate it. That's the old community center there that we just came past. Um, so anyway. I don't know if I can get in here now. It's a little late. Yep, it just closed. Rats. So, there's Sebastian out smoking a cigarette. We're going to... Oh, you just moved right in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Well, you're not exactly making me feel good about my decision, man. All right, so this is Linus's tent. Hi, a stranger. Hello. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. He got the same voice as Andy, which is the, I call it sort of like a farmer voice. It's more of like maybe a Texas rancher voice. Think like 
George Bush, um, ish, <laughs> whatever, not a big deal. Uh oh, I can't get through. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> so this is gonna cost us a lot of time. So tomorrow, objectives are make sure we can get in and out of all exits of the farm. Um, what really stinks is if I don't... Yeah, I think I've got plenty of energy here. So what we need to do is get back to the farm, plant the rest of these crops, hope to all that is holy that crows don't eat any of them, if crows come, I want them to take my parsnips. I don't want them to take any of these things that I bought, especially the ones that I only bought one of. Because then I'll have to go buy another one. So, I didn't actually look to see if it would show me the... Um... Wait, where am I? Oh, so when you go left out of there, it brings you in kind of up there behind the house. That's cool. Okay, see, it tells me when the parsnips are going to be ready. So what the, it tells me what they are. Wait, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just did one. Go like that. That should do it, right? And you will be the green bean starter. That will be my cauliflowers. I didn't do that right. Oh, I needed nine more, is what it was. So my blue jazz uh, are not planted together, but that's okay. So back up here real quick and put the hoe away, because we won't need it anymore. Let's grab those. Now. Do I want to sell any of this stuff? I think I'm going to hang on to the daffodils and use them as gifts. They make pretty good gifts early on in a playthrough. But for right now, what we want to do is first water the crops that need it. And then... Uh, wait. Now let's get to work on, I want to make sure that we clear, oh my gosh, the paths that we could not get through earlier. So like that. So that's, that's at least a start there. Now, where did I come in earlier that I couldn't, I think it's up here. Yeah. All right, so that's that way. Uh, it's getting late. Now, I'm going to pass out at 12.50, or at 2 a.m. It is 12.50. I'm going to pass out, but it's okay, because since I leveled up my foraging skill... I will wake up with full energy tomorrow, and since I have no money, they can't take any money from me. So those are usually the those are the two penalties when you pass out, which I won't have to deal with because you can't take something that if if I don't have anything to give. So. Um, this was a productive first day, and now I'm also going to go ahead and throw it out there that this is going to be the only day I will play um, for this day of the playthrough. And then we'll jump back in in the next episode on day two. Now, again, since I leveled up the foraging, that means you don't have the penalty of waking up the next day with less energy. Uh, I can also make a field snack. Wild seeds and trees will sometimes drop seeds if I shake them or cut them down. Plus, my axe is now more proficient, meaning it, it uses a little bit less energy 
each time I use it. So, um, before I sign off, there is one thing we're going to do. We are going to spawn a drum block. A singing stone. What's the difference? And a flute block, right? And here's why. Then I sign off, and this is how we do it. And now I can do it every time. Even with a brand new playthrough. So that's one of the few times that I was talking about that I will use the spawner, the item spawner. Uh, Cause uh, what I'm gonna do is now sign off and then we will jump into the playthrough uh, on day two in the next episode. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time.